So I got this question the other day on a special part needed to cut out a hole that would line up to these two circles. And as you can look at it, you can see that the circles aren't necessarily, you know, aligned in a planar fashion. They're not directly lined up in the X, Y, or Z. In fact, if we were to measure it, we can understand the, the distance in the X and the Y and the Z. So you can see this, this jog over of 28 and going down and then coming over. They wanted to cut this out. And when I investigated, I could see that the holes were the same size. So that's telling me that it's probably going to be a sweep. The sweep handles the same cross section across a path really well. You can even adjust that profile. Um, I've done that in some other videos, but it's not necessarily we don't need to do a lofted cut because it's not like we're changing the shape of our cut dramatically. So the next question is, how do we sketch the path that goes from here to here? And do we, in fact, need the two circles. Well, you don't. You only need one circle for the profile, but having a point where you want the sweep to end is going to be very helpful. So we have a few options here when we want to create this curved path. We could create it on a planar face and then sketch the curve, or we could do it in a 3D sketch. Because I plan to 3D print this, I want to have a gradual curve between them. So I'm going to create a plane. And to do that, I could try first using maybe the three points, but I don't have three good reference points. I have these two, and I'd like them to follow a pretty direct path between them. So I'm going to sketch a reference line or construction line that lines them up and use that to create our reference geometry. So I simply sketch from this point to this point, and now they're lined up, and now I can use a construction geometry plane through three points. I'll select the two endpoints of, of the circles, as well as this new one that we created with the line. And there we have our plane. I'm gonna start a sketch on this brand new plane, and I'm gonna even use the slice command so that I can see it and see between these two holes that I'm wanting to create. And now I can create a uh, maybe a three-point arc to try to do a gradual connection between them. And so I can create this path for the cutting profile. I've connected the two, I'll finish the sketch, and now I have these two, and I'm gonna use the sweep command, select this circle, it follows this path, and wanna make sure that I'm gonna do a cut. Now one gotcha, when I've done sweep cuts before, sometimes it leaves a little bit in this termination. Because it's finishing and staying perpendicular throughout, you can try toggling, but this is probably gonna change the shape of your cut, which is not necessarily what I want. I want it to stay perpendicular, but I want it to complete or come through, you actually can drag the cutter to extend past so that it makes a nice complete cut. This sweep cut out, and then we can use our plane to do a cross section and investigate this and make sure that this design is what we were hoping to achieve. So I use this plane as our cutter, I'll flip it around and now I can see this cross-sectional cutout is coming at an angle in this curved path. And that looks good. Hey, if you're looking for detailed coaching in Fusion 360 on your own project or just need some help with your learning journey, check out my link down below where you can book some time to discuss Fusion 360 together.